I look funny. I haven't had makeup on in like two days. Whoa. Alright. My back's starting to hurt. And then I'm going to take the gray and I'm going to go from the end and run it into the black. Let me see. See? So I'm just going to run it in. Fade it in. So. Anyways. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm actually going to go in with my setting spray again with my bee fit. And I'm just going to squirt myself down a couple of times. You don't have to use as much as I do, but I use a lot. And then I'm going to fan it. Like I said, don't worry about my shirt. I've been bleaching my hair halfway through the video, but in case you didn't know, I've been bleaching it blonde, trying to get the red out of it to um, get it ready to put color into it. Bright color. Kind of like my eyes. I'm so used to having black down there. That's crazy. So, I think I might go in with some blue. And that's going to go above my black wing. We're going to see how that goes. I'm just playing tonight, so it might look horrible. We got some blues going on tonight. And I was so afraid that I wasn't going to have blue. I was like, ah, oh, I ordered a green line. Now I need a blue line. No, you have blue line. <laughs> that is crazy. Those blues are wild. I'm actually really happy. Wow, look at that. It's kind of crazy looking. But that would be me. Uh, I'm going to go down, take it down a little bit further. Hopefully, like, most of the time when I take it really low like that, it makes my eyes water and then it starts smearing everywhere. Alright, so I have that and I have that. Alright, so now I'm going to go in and I'm actually sweating. I'm sitting here sweating. Knock some of that sweat off my face. Oh, it's hot in here. I got an air conditioner and a fan and a ceiling fan, and I'm still hot. Alright, so after that, I'm going to take my. Let's see if this is the right one. Nope, that's my highlighter. I think my mirror keeps falling on me. <laughs> Hoping to get a vanity. This is the contour palette, the face sculpting. So I'm gonna go in with this color and I'm gonna bring it right here where you can see my cheek line.
See? I'm just going to enhance that line. Like that. Um, sometimes I take the contour, my hair's falling, up into my hairline. Because I'm going bald up here from dyeing my hair too much. So I'm hoping to get the garlic line in, but one of my bottles were lost. Boxes. And it had my bottle in it. So, of oil from that line. So, I was real mad about that. But, it'll be alright. So, so I did up here, and then I went here, and then swooped it over here. Some, sometimes, um, some people do their nose. I don't tend to do my nose a whole lot. Just because I wear glasses. And it's just extra makeup. It's added make you know, on my glasses because it's constantly rubbing. So I tend not to do that. Alright, and then I'm gonna go in with my blush brush. If I can find it. I have all these brushes. And then I'm gonna go in with this one, the middle one. This one right here. As you can see. This one right here. And I'm going to use it as like a blush. And I'm just going to go. I am um, also, I smile. And get them on little balls in my cheeks. I don't do a whole lot. I try to keep my makeup as simple as possible sometimes, especially just like the blush and stuff. Then I'm just gonna go in and I'm blend it. Blend, blend, blend. It's all about blending. Gotta blend. Alright, so, oh, my back hurts. Um, so I am done with that. Let's see, I got my mascara and I'm gonna use the Zen. I'm going to use the Zen. I have the Zen and I have the 3D. So I like both of them, but Zen right now is my favorite. And I'm going to just go in. Starting at the root, bring it up. Sorry. It's my favorite. I'm looking down, so I need to prop the camera up a little bit. I've noticed. Definitely noticed that as a flaw of mine, besides my contacts. So, I will work on that. The good thing is with their mascara, it doesn't look like you have spider legs. That's an awesome feeling. Some of you are like, oh my gosh, look at her eyelashes. They're like little spider legs. I don't like that. And then I'm just going to bring it down on my bottom. Uh, my bottom. Whatever's excess on my brush. I don't dip it again for my bottom lashes. I just don't think the bottom lash has to have as much. So, you know, my phone is very detailed. I see every little hair on my face. So there. A dot. Oh. There's a little fuzz. That's all that is. All right. So, after I'm done with that, I don't really, like I said, I don't wear lipstick. Um, I just kind of wipe the powder away. I use a lip plumper. 
or a lip gloss. But I use the lip plumper because it's like so shiny and it's got like a minty feel to it. And I like that. And I'm actually watching Stranger Things on Netflix, so. Okay. That's about all you're getting for the lip. And the last thing will be highlighter. Highlighter is an essential. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to go in with the lighter color highlighter. Now what I do with my highlighter is I brush it along the brow. So it gives it a highlight effect up there. And then I take my finger and I just kind of blend it in. And then I do the same on the other eye. And then just blend it in. And if you like dark, like really where it's like, not dark, but I mean like really shows, you can do that. And then I'm going to take the highlighter on my cheekbones. I'm just going to fan it. Can you see that? Okay, I don't know if I like this highlighter brush. I think I want my brush. And now, oh, there it is. Now, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I like to glow. And then I'm going to take a little and I'm going to put it on the ball of my nose, the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to do it with my lip as well on the curve. Okay. Like that. I don't know. I like to glow. So you can put your highlighter wherever. I like to have a glowy face. Normally, the eyes. If I was doing every day, like going out to the, um to, to the store to like pick up my groceries or go get gas or take the husband to work, um, I would do just normal makeup. But I do like the bright, bright colors sometimes, especially if I'm wearing tie-dye stuff. Um, it's awesome. So, But that is about it. It's quick. It's simple. Well, I don't know about simple, but it's quick. You can make it quick if you don't you have distractions and um, things like that. It'd be a lot less than, what, like 58 minutes or, or 48 minutes or something like that. But I just wanted to try out the new products that I had gotten. And that was the whole reason of doing the video. Um, just to test them out, see what, what it felt like. But this is how it turned out. I'm trying to, there you go. 
that's the eye. And like I said, I mean, I was really quick tonight. Um, here, I don't want to put that down there. But I try to do it really quick tonight. I normally take my time from going somewhere. Uh, and then with the blonde hair, I wanted to see what it would look like too. But, so, there you have it. Now, oh, you can tell my mirror went off. It definitely, definitely did. Now we can take the headband out and you can see the process that I'm going through with my hair. It's, ugh, it's so yellow, orange, red. I don't even know at this point, like what color it is. I just know that it's like crazy looking so I keep hitting the button uh oh I guess that's how you turn it up give me a sec okay that works so yeah so this is the hair that I'm working with I'm going to do blue I don't have the box over here but it's going to be a I don't know it's like a shark blue and another blue and then I'm going to combine them and then the roots will be black so that's what I'm going for but I have like this orangey color tone still from the red which I've bleached it twice which doesn't even really look like I've bleached it at all because I'm using pharmacy but you see all that red underneath that is not going to turn blue so anyways well i hope you enjoyed and i will hopefully when i come back i will have different color hair and we'll do a different look maybe more natural look um but yeah bye